Come on here, young man. Oh. There you go, Mark. So welcome to another edition of Setting the Hook, folks. We're here in Niagara again today. We're actually, where are we, Mark? We're on the Welland River? Welland River, Chippewa Creek. So probably nine out of 10 boats that put their boat in at the Chippewa boat ramp head out to the Niagara River. We're actually in the Chippewa River here, Chippewa Creek, Welland River, and we're fishing largemouth. No, I've never been up here before, but you fished it a few times yourself. A few times. I've done it for largemouth yeah. bass and musky both. Okay, and it's kind of showing because you've uh, you're uh, you're catching a few fish there, and uh, you're throwing a worm. Typical something you throw up in the course of the lakes or whatever. Yep. Northern waters, and uh, we're happy to say this is the third fish this morning, and Brent just got one. I've got one. The first one was just a touch bigger than these two. Oh yeah, <laughs> the other one was a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a big fish. There he is. Yeah. Got him. Just when you think he's ready for the net, he turns that around. That was just a greedy fish. That wasn't angler skill. <laughs> That's probably my favorite part, eh? When you feel that top and you set the hook and you feel that solidness. But he's heavy. Tell he's been eating pretty good out there. And we got ourselves a good salmon. People travel all over the world for these fish. So uh, let's do that again. And let's face it, the Niagara River is a, is a buffet for fish. Let's get him back in the water. Setting the Hook with Brett Bochak is brought to you by Fish Envy and Live to Fish. You know, we just pulled up to the launch site here. It's really important to get your boat prepped and ready before you actually get in line to launch your boat. That way you're not holding anybody up over there. First thing we're gonna do is take off the straps. I already got the steering lock on the other side taken off. We wanna make sure our plug's in. And it looks like we're ready to go. You know, when you're launching your boat, especially when you're by yourself, there's a few different ways you can do it, and you want to do it as safely as possible. One thing I will do is I'll put the rope on the handle here, have it tied off to the eye here as well, and then I got my excess rope here. There's no way I'm going to back in. My boat's going to come off and float away on me. So when you're coming up to a boat ramp, if you can position yourself, the better you position yourself, the less turning you're gonna to have to do when you're backing up. Got my windows down so that I can see where I'm backing up easier than my mirrors. Now that we're untied from the boat, I'm gonna put a slipper into neutral, let her go back nice and slowly there. That way I'm not gonna hit the gas by accident and, and go back fast or anything. Put on the brake, back nice and gently. And once the boat starts to float, I'll put her back in the park. Now this ramp's not too bad, it's not a big steep ramp. So the boat didn't really slide off the trailer, which is fine. I got my rope here. Let's put that inside the boat here. We're gonna lower the motor. We're gonna start her up. Every time you're working around docks and that, go nice and easy. There's no big hurry.
Fish. Good man. Rock bass. That's, that's a, a large boat. It's a large boat? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's a beautiful little large boat. So Mark, do you find those fish along here are more orientated inside the weeds than, than on the weed edge? I lean towards wood in here over anything. I seem to get more fish off wood than I do off the weeds. Fishing largemouth, if you can find stuff like this, slop blowing up against a tree, definitely take a full advantage up and flip right into it. There you go, Mark. Want the net on that? You're going to flip them in. I'll flip them in. Oops. Watch the motor, Mark. Nice little largemouth. Nicely done, sir. Thank you very much. Welcome to the wonderful world of largemouth. There's not, there's not always smallmouth down here. There's also a few of these. <laughs> that was a great release. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, look at the size of that snake. Oh my, holy smokes. No, he's not even kidding. Are you serious? Oh, it's huge. What was it, water snake? Still sitting here. I know you're just <laughs> joking, because you know I don't <laughs> like snakes. <laughs> Perfect. On a tube, eight pound line in wood. This makes it a lot of fun. I'm not swinging him, I'm gonna lip him. Don't try this at home, kids. Eight pound line in wood with a tube. It works, be careful doing it. <laughs> well, Mark, you know what? It was a bit of a struggle today out here on the Welland River. We did catch a few largemouth. When I say we, I mostly mean you. Uh, you got a real nice fish earlier in the day, then we got some other smaller ones. But, uh, you know, I want to thank you for showing me part of Niagara I've never really seen before. Well, thanks very much for the invite. I'm glad we got a chance to go up there and target some largemouth. Uh, you have mentioned before that we're going to get out again in September or October to fish muskies in the upper Niagara River. Or November or December. That's even better. Yeah. Well, I, Mark and I are both uh, musky fanatics, and that's really where we've cut our teeth in the fishing, uh, in, in fishing is the musky stuff. So let's, uh, let's plan on that, and uh, we'll see you next time on Setting the Hook. Fish. Oh, never mind. Another one, though. Hey, I think it's smaller than yours. It is. I seriously think this it is smaller than yours. It is. Not by much, Mark, but it is. Look at the size of that beauty. It's a giant. It's a giant. Am I guessing maybe six, seven inches? If that. Talk to me, Mark. How do I sound? Do I sound remarkable? Oh, get that mark. Remarkable. Uh, I'm going to mark that one on my calendar. Never invite Mark out again. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get the to talk too or no? All right, big clap. Oh, there's two large buff right there. I didn't see him. You don't have your glasses on. They weren't large buff. Snake. They could have been sticks. They were snakes. It was a right? snake head. <laughs> you should bring that in the introduction too. Thanks. That's good. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I don't need to clap, do I? <laughs>